Hey, Steve Noble, Noble Moto. Got a 2022 Lowrider ST up on the lift today. And uh, this is an M8 Softail Lowrider. And uh, we're gonna do a three hole oil change on this thing. That's gonna be engine oil and filter, transmission oil, and primary oil. Now, you can do this yourself in your driveway. You don't even really need a lift. You are gonna need to wanna hold the bike straight somehow or another to make sure all the oil drains out evenly. But other than that, uh, yeah, you just need a uh, oil pan and a few basic hand tools. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty simple task. Everybody should be able to do this on their own bike. It's good maintenance. We all need to get it done. Uh, keep your bike rolling. So let's get right to it. Next shot will be underneath, looking up at the bottom of the bike, and I'll show you which drain plugs are which. All right, so here we are underneath the motorcycle, and this bolt head right here that is pointing backwards, this is the drain plug for the engine oil. So you can take a 5.8 socket and remove that right on out of there. Now be ready, as soon as you take this out, Five quarts of oil are going to come out with it. Now if it drains a wee little slow, you can take the um, fill cap out, uh, or take the dipstick out, and let the air flow through there a little faster. Now as the engine oil drains, it's a good chance to take a look at your drain plug here. You can see this little magnet on here and this should pick up metal shavings. There's not much on here, so that's pretty good. So we're gonna wipe this clean, wipe everything off of here, and then we'll put a new drain, new O-ring on the drain plug, and then reinstall the drain plug once the oil is done draining. Okay, now that our oil's done draining, slide our pan forward a little bit, reinstall our new drain plug. and you're gonna to wanna to torque this to 14 to 21 foot-pounds. Next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is remove the oil filter. Now to catch all the oil that's in the oil filter, Harley makes a special little plastic thingamajigger, whatever. I use aluminum foil. I have, here I've got it, I'll lose the little plastic thingamajigger. Slide it all the way up in there, and then you can make a little funnel so the oil that comes out will run down into your drain pan. Then from there, you can take an 11 16 socket, which I lost. There it is. You can take an 11 16 socket, and if you have a K&N style filter, they have the little nut on the end, and you can just lefty-loosey that sucker right off of there. I'm not endorsing K&N. They don't give me any free stuff, but I do like that little nut. If they want to give me free stuff, I'll endorse them. So from there, should be able to lefty-loosey that off of there. And take your old filter off. Now this may new look like a new clean filter, and that's because it is. That's because I forgot to press record when I took the old filter off. So, what you do from there is you then take some fresh oil, Put it on the seal of your new filter. You take your aluminum foil out of the way once all your oil drains off of there. Then you can reinstall your new filter. Make sure it's nice and square when you go in. You don't want to have it at weird angles because you don't want to cross thread it. And just righty tighty that sucker up there right until the seal makes contact. Then from the point the seal makes contact, you want to rotate it about three quarters more of a turn. This is actually on the instructions in the box the oil filter came in. Right about there. Now, you're ready to put your drain plug back in and refill your engine oil. Now, we're gonna refill the engine oil. Take dipstick on out of there, put that in a safe and clean location. Pour your oil on in there. Try and spill it out like I just did. 
because uh, if you pour it in too fast, it'll just blurp out like that right there. Probably why you should use a funnel. Now, reinstall your dipstick. After this, start your bike up, let it run for 30 seconds. Then turn it off and check the oil again. Wipe off all the excessive oil that you just spilled all over everything. Now next, we're gonna wanna remove the transmission drain plug. That is this drain plug right here. For reference, this is the uh, engine oil drain plug. This right here is the back of the motorcycle. So, gonna take a 5 8 socket. Doesn't seem to want to go on there. A lefty Lucy, that sucker on out of there. Now, be ready. Be ready, because as soon as you pull this drain plug out, oil's coming out. So, have your drain pan ready to slide underneath it. There we go. And one quart of oil should be draining right on out of there. Now as the engine oil drains, it's a good chance to take a look at your drain plug here. You can see this little magnet on here, and this should pick up metal shavings. There's not much on here, so that's pretty good. So we're gonna wipe this clean. Wipe everything and you're off of here. you're going to torque this to 14 to 21 foot pounds. And then we'll put a new drain, new O-ring on the drain plug, and then reinstall the drain plug once the oil is done draining. Next thing you want to do is reinstall the transmission pan drain plug. And of course. Now in order to get to the transmission fill plug, you have to take off your side cover. This takes a 532nd Allen wrench, and just lefty-loosey these two screws right on out of here. Set those in a safe location. Then from there, you should be able to grab this thing and pull it off. There's a little rubber grommet here that comes off over a stud here. You may not be able to see the stud, but I swear to you it's there. But as you pull it off of there, that little rubber grommet should come right off. Next thing you're gonna do is just lift this little plastic piece up and out of here. This plastic tab sits in this slot down here. You can set that off to the side. Then you're gonna wanna wipe all the dirt off from around the fill plug because we don't wanna accidentally get dirt in there when we take the fill plug out. And after that, you can take our 3 8 Allen wrench and loosen that up and then spin the fill plug right on out of there. You should be able to lift that up out of there. And of course, there is the drain plug, or the, uh, I'm sorry, the dipstick. And as you can see, our oil level is still good. That's good, it means we don't have any leaks. So we're gonna set that in a clean location and then we will get a filter and refill it with our one quart of oil. Now we're ready to fill the transmission oil. So you have your bag of oil or container. You may want to use a funnel or with these soft bags, you can just put it right down in there. Make sure it's actually in there. Give it a slow squeeze. Slowly drain all of that, whole, that entire quart of oil into your transmission, and it takes one quart of oil. Check your service manual. I'm not telling you which way to oil to use. Or ask in the comments, and I'll argue with you over it. Now once that's on there, once that's filled, 
take your dipstick, reinstall it, or at least spin it all the way down with your fingers. Make sure it's not cross-threaded. And with that, we can check our oil. We're sitting right at the fill mark. We're good to go. Tighten that up with a 3 8 Allen wrench. Just snug it up. It's plastic. Don't kill it. From there, you can reinstall this little plastic thing of a jigger. Tabs go back in there by my pointy finger. And the bottom part goes down in the little slot. And from there, reinstall the side cover. First onto the rubber grommet. Then take your bolt and washer. Snug both those up. You're ready to go ride. Next, you're going to want to remove the primary oil. So in order to do that, you have to remove the primary oil drain plug, which is located right here, oops, sorry, right here on the bottom of the primary. Next thing you're going to want to do is remove the primary oil drain plug. As this big hex bolt here it takes a 5 8 wrench, Lefty Lucy, that sucker, right on out of there. And of course, have a drain pan ready because just like all the other ones, oil's coming out as soon as you pull the drain plug. Now we can reinstall the drain plug. You want to start this in with your fingers and make sure it threads all the way in with your fingertips. If it's tight too early, it's not all the way in yet. It's binding up and you're cross-threading it or something. You don't want that, you'll strip it out. And snug it up. And torque it to spec. Now, you're ready to reinstall your primary, trans your primary oil. Now to fill your primary oil, you're going to have to remove the derby cover. This takes a T25 Torx bit. Go around, loosen them all up. Now, you can take your one quart of gear oil, it's technically a wee little bit under, I think it's like 0.9 something quarts, whatever, just put a quart in it. Fill that up. You can't overfill this. As you can see, I'm just squirting the oil down in there. Just fill it all, put the whole quart in there. And uh, the theory is it should fill up to the, like the bottom of the, uh, basically to like the bottom of the fill hole just a little bit below that, uh, so you can't overfill it. If you do, it just spills out.
All right, so to check your primary oil, once you take the clutch, and, or clutch or derby cover off, you should be able to look down in here and you'll see oil filled right up to the bottom of this pressure plate. If you kind of dip down there with a screwdriver, you should actually be able to see the oil swish around a little bit. I don't know if you can actually see it in there. Let's lean forward with this camera a little bit. You should be able to see that level hopefully right there at the tip of the screwdriver. Excuse my amateur lighting technique. But as long as it's up to the bottom of the pressure plate, you're good. You pull up extra in there, it's okay. Now to reinstall the clutch or derby cover. Make sure your O-ring is in place here. Make sure it's nice and clean. It's not kinked or damaged in any way. And you can place your cover up here and line up all the bolt holes. Start these in evenly, in a crisscross pattern. I'll ensure you don't pitch the cover sideways. On some years, especially the air-cooled Sportster years, Evo air-cooled Sportster, it was easy to tilt this to the side, then the gasket would get pinched, then they would leak. Then you have to fix it on your wife's bike on the side of a hill in Black Mountain Harley, uh, somewhere in North Carolina in the middle of a trip. Luckily, the people there were very nice. Run these in a crisscross pattern till they're in snug. Torque to spec, you're ready to go ride. 